Good morning, seminar and sport class. It's Dr. Jeff Briggs, and it's Friday, January 29th. We have just completed the fourth week of the term, and I want to do a brief overview for those that are working remotely or those that have accommodations, and I want to talk to you specifically about some of the things we wrapped up this week and two of the assignments that came out of this week. Now, I'm going to refer back to the schedule and some of the things in Blackboard as I go through these. So we started... Monday the 25th and we talked about the value of professional associations and we wrapped up our resume development cover letter uh, references section I've got videos on that and you can go and work on that assignment which I believe is due next Wednesday but we talked about the value of professional associations anybody that works in the sport profession that sees themselves having a career in sport profession should begin to join some of the organizations, some of the professional memberships, and kind of get involved with some of the organizations, read some of the materials they put out, occasionally attend their conferences, maybe you want to speak or present, do some research. All of that's available to you. I want you to investigate the professional associations or professional memberships. So the assignment coming out of that, uh, which was Monday the 25th, uh, I sent a PDF document to all of you that was eight pages of professional memberships. These are organizations that Dr. Johnson and I, for years and years and years, uh, investigated for students. We want you to join them and get to know them and, and learn from those. Many of those organizations are people just like ourselves who are working in sport and dedicated to coaching or ministry or management or certain segments of our industry. Go through those eight pages and select two organizations. Now, I recommend and refer to you the first one, which is the COSMA. That's the accrediting body. I want you to join that as a student, which is free. And then select another one across those eight pages, or even one that you may be familiar with that's not on our list. In the end, your assignment is to join two of those, COSMA being the first and a second one of your choice and then complete the assessment or the evaluation in Blackboard uh, by the first of next week per those memberships. You're gonna write a little bit about those memberships that you've joined. And then on Wednesday, the 27th, we had our first internship discussion. And I talked all about the internship for the summer. It covers the, the term of the summer. It starts in May at a certain date. It ends the end of July, a certain date. I believe it's a 12-week internship, and it runs the full summer term. Your internship during the summer is across the span of the summer term. I had already had students complete the internship application, which tells me a little bit about yourself and your desires. And then I made the assignment of the internship site profile or site profile assignment. And as you discern down the specific site you would like to go intern, you need to give me that information so I can begin to record that, build a relationship with that organization if we don't already have one, and reach out to that site supervisor. So between now and the last week of the semester, you must complete the internship site request or site profile assignment document. Submit that back into Blackboard so that I can begin to cultivate that with you. Today, then, we did resume review. Everybody brought their resumes to class. We passed them around. We did peer editing and peer review for everybody. And we discerned some ways and means that we can help one another improve their resume. Remember, your resume is an advertisement of you. It does profile you, your, your skills, your experiences, your, your professional credentials, your college education, references upon request. But it's an advertisement of you. Keep in mind, I told you, with the resume assignment, you can choose the format, but we're gonna delve hard into developing the content. So today we passed it around and did all kinds of fun things. The professional resume assignment is due this coming Wednesday. It should be three pages, your cover letter, your resume, and then your professional references, all saved in one document, either a Word document or a PDF. And they must be uploaded in Blackboard by this Wednesday. Coming out of today, we did two other things. Today was the 29th. We had a developing professionalism assignment. And I want you to look specifically in your Blackboard Activities folder. And I'm gonna click in here just now. And there is a developing professionalism assignment link. 
Here's the assignment document. I'll open that first. Those blue hyperlinks open the documents. I would encourage you to download this page and print it off. Your assignment is to review, as we go back to the assignment page, this second hyperlink is a series of articles that we've collected through the years on professionalism. We are asking you to review these particular articles. There's a handful of them about organizational culture and organizational language and nomenclature and, and uh, professional dress attire in organizations and the hiring and firing practices and communication practices. It's apropos for you to understand professionalism as it relates to the marketplace and the differences in the marketplace. Your assignment is to read those articles and then complete a two to three page personal application strategy. How can I apply these things to my life as I prepare to move on into the professional marketplace? Take the things that stand out to you. Take the things that you do well. Take the things that you realize you need to add to your repertoire and write about that developing a personal professional strategy. Two to three pages to be submitted in a blackboard on the 8th. February 8th is when that assignment is due. Last thing, this Monday is a remote day. <laughs> Let's look at the schedule. Interviewing 101. At 8 a.m., I will open up a series of interviewing videos and an interviewing assessment. Your assignment for Monday's class at 8 a.m. is to watch those videos and then complete that three or four question assessment. And that is due by the end of the class on Monday which will lead into our interviewing assignment Wednesday in class. That's a review of everything we've done this week and the assignments. I'm gonna send this video out to the whole class, but specifically you remote students or those with accommodations, please make sure you're attending to these things. Have a great day.